In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the quick slant concept and why it is so underrated in Madden. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, what I want to encourage you to do is my channel basically focuses on Madden. It focuses on football, and I talk about real NFL concepts that can work in Madden and try to help people get better at Madden on a competitive level and on a sim level. So if that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is send me a text message. My phone number is in the description. Send me a quick text text message. Let me know your name. Let me know what you thought of this video. I'd really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. If you're not comfortable doing that, I totally understand. What I want to ask you to do is to just join our Discord server. It's an app that we have where we can basically communicate on that app in real time. And once we hit 100 members in our Discord, I will be releasing a free offensive and defensive ebook um the my entire offense my entire defense that i use in money games to win uh hundreds of dollars in madden all right let's jump into this so yesterday we talked about levels we talked about the importance of a level concept so we're just going through some of these basic concepts um and really what i'm trying to do is set you up for success in Madden 21 because if you can understand the concepts then you can understand everything about it so levels is basically drive and what it means is drag and dig routes coming from the same direction with the drag lining up outside the dig route so something like this PA wheel the play drive from the spread Y stick that's an example of a levels concept now what I want to talk about today is the concept of the quick slant let me see if I can find it here it's this simple concept here and you see the explanation a short route with the receiver breaking towards the middle of the field that's all it is these are quick quick slant routes and uh, even skinny post routes can count um, about this but this is a simple little route combination that is really slept on especially from like a spread set or a double set and today we're going to show it to you from shotgun doubles i'm in the arizona cardinals offensive playbook you don't have to have any specific route what i like to look for is a wheel route um actually let's go to spread because i know there's a wheel route in spread that we can utilize to you to do this because you can basically create the slant routes right so what we want to do is try to kind of combine it with something else that we could do down the road so let me show you this from the gun spread y slot in the arizona playbook the only reason i'm choosing this is because it's a wheel route there's a wheel route to the right and there's also a wheel route to the left um, but that's the only reason that i'm choosing it. it has nothing to do with the actual slant route that you can hot route or anything like that there are stock slant routes that you can hot route or that, that that only comes stock with a specific play that you can find that will be more effective against specific types of defenses. Um, but let me show you how this concept really works. And what we're just going to do is just go against random plays. And why it's so good from a four, why it's so good from a spread formation. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take Devontae Adams here. You can put him on a slant route. Now these are designed to be quick reads, quick quick reads so it's the ball is designed to get out before they ever cross okay that's that's really critical so basically what's going to happen is this slant on the right you're always going to be able to throw circle you should always be able to throw the route the second slant because the zones are going to jump to the first slant and as he's crossing it's going to open up a passing window and you always want a possession catch this trust me you always want a possession catch this but it's simply a two um it's simply a two wide receiver um, deal. And let me read you a little bit out of an article. Um, th these are a couple of things that you need to know. This is from Bill Walsh in an article I read about it. And typically, this um, the, a cover two beating slant is a double slant. So if you have two slants, that's going to beat cover two. So we got two coming from the right. And then I like to wheel the running back. And then what I'll do is on the, back, on, uh, the left side, whoops, I'm sorry. Um, basically wherever the wheel is at, then I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna slant that's gonna be a, a slant flat combination. It's gonna serve as that. And here's a couple of cutups from Bill Walsh. Slant pass is a big chunk play. A 12 yard split with five to seven steps in the break. Throwing the strong side, you should use drop back, throw ball to the middle of the receiver and above his waist. If anything, slow him up to catch it. Receivers should always be aware of the relationship between the corner and the safety. Hop inside and come under control in the hole. The ball should be caught one foot in front of the numbers. 
versus corners that are inside go full speed and break across his face. What that simply means is this is a timing route. And if you time it right, you can execute it at a high level. One of the biggest mistakes that I think Madden players make, one of the biggest mistakes I make, is we don't have good timing. We have good routes, but we don't have good timing. And I think that is one of our biggest struggles in competitive Madden. Do we have good timing? Do we time the routes? Do we put packages together where the routes are thrown on time? This is something that I think we can really learn a lot about. And so when I want to throw this, you're going to see he's going to come right through. Now there you saw a reroute, a reroute of the vert hook out of a cover two. And the reroute you'll see right there. And that was a good play by Bobby Wagner. That's the only kind of pushback that I would say people would give to not putting the back on a route. If you just leave him in a block here, but right there, and you see... That double slant, so that was um, that was a cover three. But basically, at the snap of the ball, and you don't want to run this every play. This is not an every play concept. This right here is what I call a constraint theory play. It's a quick pass. It's a play that you're going to use when, honestly, it's a play you're going to use when you're getting a lot of zone pressure. When you're getting a lot of zone pressure. But right here, you'll see that right there. You see what just happened there? You see how both of them went with that? This slant read on the backside, because he's on a wheel route, when they play match coverage, you're going to be able to throw that wheel route right there into that pocket. So you see how it's a quick read. Very, very quick read. And again, you can hot route this. This is all done through hot routes. I like wheel routes. The reason I like wheel routes is because against this kind of match coverage right there, you see it's a home run. It's a touchdown. Because it's a the, the slant presses the defense vertically. And I, I don't know about you, but I get a lot this year. I get a lot of cover four palms. And you'll see they're right there. Now, one of the things that I don't like, and this is why I've honestly, this is why honestly what I've thought about doing is a, is a drag and a slant with uh, Jimmy Graham. Because his route and... Um, because his route gets, in my opinion, a little bit too whatever. And I would motion him to the right. So he'll come in, compress as a tight end. And it'll create a nice little angle right there to throw that, that route. But basically, if the safeties rotate to the right, or if they spread, if the safeties spread, then you're going to look to the right. If they come down, if one of them goes down, you're going to look to the left. So here they spread, so that route right there should be a possession catch dot, as you can see. Here they're going to rotate down, so now I should work the left side. And we're able to get that inside release. Now against man-to-man, -man, we just saw man-to-man. -man. I will tell you, I will go ahead and tell you that it's it really comes down to route running. But if you have a stud receiver like a Devontae Adams or whoever, right, a DeAndre Hopkins, um, that's why I like to have good receivers, they'll beat man. They'll beat man. If you drag, if you drag um, Jimmy Graham, his route will do the same thing. It'll pull those inside zones, and it's going to open up that pocket in the backside to be able to hit those quick slants. But see, this is a very simple concept. Very, very simple concept. But it can be very, very powerful. It's a constraint theory play. It's a play that I don't go to all the time. Um, but, and you see, if you're not careful, you do that right there. And that's what cover three does to it. That's that. That's why you want to work your backside. Whoops. And let me show you. Let me show you if you want to run it the opposite direction. So, you know, it's probably even a little better to the right. So I'm gonna take Lazard, put him on a slant, and then I'm gonna take Allison, put him on a. a I've got a drag slant combo. You can do whatever you want. You can you can do two slants. I just think I like the drag because. Of the fact that it flattens out. Uh, I really like that about it. But you'll see you're able to pop those pop those hitches or pop those uh, slant routes. 
against uh, man to man. This is the play Z shallow. It just gives me a wheel route on the right. That's all it is. But you'll see here, same thing against match coverage. It's a touchdown. That's one of the reasons I really like that route. Uh, I really like the wheel routes. So, and if you wanted to, you could pair concepts, right? The, the, the primary concept here is that you've got two slants. Now, if you wanted to, you could run kind of a, kind of a levels almost out of it. And you could take the, you could run a slant and a dragon behind it. You see that drag will get underneath it. So, or you could run him on an in route. You can do anything you wanted, but it's the basic idea that you're going to have two in breaking, in, in breaking quick beating routes. Right, and you're wanting that slant to drive it. You're wanting that primary slant to drive the defense up, so there's a window for you to throw it in behind it. And I find this works really, really well against the blitz. I find it works really well against the blitz. I find it's not the best against max coverage defenses. Um, that's where you want to go to some of your other concepts that we've talked about. But right there, you see how he stays underneath it in a in a set. If you come in a cover two set, they're going to stay underneath an individual slant. That's why you come cover two. You should be able to work both of those slants on the back side. But that's the quick slant concept. Um, there's not much to it. It's a quick hitting concept. Again, I would. It's really good against match coverage. I mean, really. Let me show you. Um, so you're seeing a lot of cover three match. That the reason you're seeing that is if they are in a any type of three deep three under blitz, it's going to be match principles. And then let me show you one other coverage that you might face within this. Spread wide slot, and we're just coming out in the play curl wheel. Now, cover four, cover four palms. So this is a coverage that. I face a lot. So let me show you this against this. So you should see here the slants are going to run wide open. That to me is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> uh, as much cover for palms as I've faced this year, late in the year, you see the match and they're just not able to, they can't defend the middle of the field. And what people are doing, what people are going to do is the more that you throw, the more you throw something like this, Y corner, which you see how it's got a double slant concept paired with it. It's got that double slant concept paired with it, which is nice. But the more you throw something like a Y corner route, which we all know about rollout corners this year, right? Cover four palms will take care of that. But the more you throw like a Y corner what they'll start doing is they'll start, um, and you could even do, like the more you're throwing out routes, to be quite honest with you, the more you're throwing out, and I throw a lot of out routes, the more you're throwing out routes, what they'll do is they'll shade coverage down, shade coverage up, they'll turn those guys into cloud flats, and what that's going to do is it's going to open up the middle of the field, and the user, whichever way the user goes, he's going to be wrong. Whichever, whichever way that middle linebacker goes, that's basically the read. So does the middle linebacker go to the right or the left? He's going to go to the right. Okay, we're going to throw left. And that, that middle linebacker more than likely is going to be their user. And that's that's honestly, that's as simple as we're going to, that's as simple as I can make it for you. Which way does he go? He's going that way. I'm going here. And cover four palms the defense does take away the post it does take away the seams it does take away the deep crossing route it does not take away the quick slant route and that's why basic football concepts to me will still win out in the long run get a handle on the slant play you'll use it it's a constraint theory play what i mean by that is it is a play that is designed to keep the defense honest it's not a play that you're going to run every down but when they start making, when they start getting adjusty, over adjusty, these basic football concepts become wide open. So, thanks for watching this video. Again, if this video helped you in any way, I want to really ask you just to send me a text message, say say your name in the text message, and tell me what you liked about the video or what you didn't like. I'd really appreciate hearing from you. 
And if you don't want to do that, then just join me over at Discord. I'd love to be able to chat with you there. And again, we're about halfway to our goal. And once we hit 100 people, I will release a free offensive and defensive ebook for you in that server. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next video.